All right, guys. So today I'm gonna do a bike check. I know I did one about like uh, like three or four months ago. So I decided I'm gonna do a new one because I mean, like half the parts on my bike are different now. I did change a lot of things up, so we're gonna do a bike check right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, but let's get right into it. All right, we're gonna start top to bottom. All right, so the grips. These are the BSD passenger grips in black. They're Chris Kyle grips. They're very, very soft. I really like them. Probably my favorite grip. The bar ends, we have the demolition uh, metal bar ends. I've had these for a long time. If you don't like your bar ends breaking apart, I highly recommend these. These save you from having to like put the bar ends inside your bars when they break or from having to like just force them out or get a corkscrew just to pry them out. And this is the other one right here. It's got the M for marking on it. So that's pretty sick. And I've been getting this question in my DMs a lot lately. Uh, these are the Demolition Paradise Bars. They're 9.5 rise with a 27.5 width. I really enjoy these bars. They're kind of big, but I've really gotten used to it and I, I actually really like it. Uh, helps for some things. So, Demolition Paradise Bars are Tyler Fernangle's signature bars. Got the Demolition stickers, got the Paradise sticker right here. Got the famous Send It sticker also. Recommend getting these bars. And stem, profile push stem, I think it's 48 millimeter. I've had this stem for a really long time. I probably won't need a new one soon because it's holding up really good. Uh, Odyssey compression bolt, I actually got that compression bolt off my Odyssey director forks when I was like 13. So that compression bolt is very, very <laughs> old. But I mean, it, it's the job done, so I'm not complaining. Kink headset. Frame is the BSD ALVX frame V3. That's uh, Alex Donaghy's signature frame. Very good frame. I'll run you through some of the geometry. Top tube is a 20.6. Standover, I believe, is 8.2 or 8.3. I'm not exactly sure. The rear end, though, is a 12.5 slammed. I put my back wheel on in a hurry the other day, so it's not like slammed. It's kind of like probably at 12.6 right now, but. I'll probably fix that later to not have my chain as tight because I don't like running it too tight, but I mean, it's actually kinda, it's not that tight. It's probably good, I'll probably leave it like this. Head tube angle is a 75.5, which is steep, pretty steep. Okay, before we get on to all the new stuff, uh, let's see, I got the Odyssey R32 fork still. I'm probably gonna get a new pair of these just because these are so old and I don't want them to break on me. They're great forks, but I've, these are like uh, Brody, my friend Brody's old forks, and they're kinda old, so, I don't know, it's not always the best idea to run forks for a really long time. Even if they are really good, it's just not a good idea to run them for too long, especially when you're doing drops and stuff, because it could break. I've actually broken a pair of forks in a not so fun way, so I don't, I don't recommend running forks for that long. So here's some new things. Tires, both front and back are the BSD Donna Streets folding. Very good, this actually is on backwards. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, they have more tread, it seems like, than the Dawn Squeaks. All right, and then front wheel. Okay, so basically, if you guys will keep up with the vlogs, you know my front wheel took a poop on me. And I have to, I had to go get one from a bike shop, so I guess this is the, uh, it's a revenge wheel. So this is a revenge, like, complete wheel, I guess. I don't know. It, uh, it gets the job done, though, so I'm not complaining. And it looks, it's black, and it looks clean. So yeah, I'm not gonna complain. Front hub guard, I have the, what is this, the Merit front hub guard, the plastic one. Yeah, this is the Merit one. And I have a Brandon Began, uh GFE peg, 4.75, so it's pretty long. I actually haven't even got to use these yet because it's been raining, but I just put them on. I got the black sleeves, I'll show you. This is the other one right here. So yeah, I actually haven't even got to use these yet. But yeah, these are also new parts. On to some more new parts. These uh, pedals, cranks are all new right here. So these are the Odyssey JCPCs. I actually had these before the other pedals I had, which were the Alone Kingpin pedals. I really like the other pedals I had, but they were really thin. And uh, I knew they were gonna crack on me at some point, but. So I got these ones uh, because they're pretty similar. Plastic body, metal pins. I don't know, I'm kinda into it. I'm probably gonna take the pins off one side so I can do like pedal grinds or like luckies and stuff like that. Also, I have new cranks. These are the BSD Substance XL cranks. I guess these are supposed to be stronger than the BSD Substance cranks, and I got them in 165 mil. Uh, basically, because I wanted to try shorter cranks. I've heard a lot of good things of people riding shorter cranks, so I decided to give it a try. So far, I really like it, and I'm stoked on it. Um, right here, I have the uh, Relic Sprockets 25 tooth chain. I have no idea. Tucked away in there, I have a kink bottom bracket. 24 millimeter because bend of these cranks are pretty wide back here. I have the profile Z coaster 
a hub. I have a uh, place to a G Sport roll cage with DT Swiss spokes. Probably my favorite hub I've ever had and will ever own. And I have the Z Coast Tribe Guard that fits especially for this hub. So stoked on that. I honestly, it's my favorite hub. I highly recommend getting this hub. Probably like the most fun hub I've ever had. And finally, Kink Stump Seat Post. It's got this weird, like, it, the seat comes up through here. It's kind of cool though. And last but not least, I got the BSD Jones in black seat. It's got this cool like corduroy feel. It's got the, the acid wash face right here. Really, really sick seat. Um, I think that's gonna do it though. So that's gonna do it for today's video guys. Um, it stopped raining finally I think. Let's check. Oh yeah, it stopped raining today finally. So I'm actually gonna go outside and get some riding clips. And uh, yeah, I can make a vlog today. And it's gonna be a good day, no rain. And uh, hopefully it stays that way for a little bit because it's been raining for the past three days and I have not been able to film anything. It kind of sucks. I haven't been able to ride my bike either. Hope you guys enjoyed though. And if you're new, be sure to uh, check out some of my other videos. And if you do enjoy those, subscribe. Also turn post notifications on to never miss a video. If you have any questions about my bike, uh, comment down below. But I'm going to close this video out now and I'll see you tomorrow. Later.